But just a quick update, uh, Marlene Ochoa uh, disappeared on Tuesday, April 23rd, after leaving Latino Youth Alternative High School. There's a police report been made and there's an investigation that's underway, but we haven't heard any word about her. Uh, she is a Latina, 19 years old, with brown hair and brown eyes. She, was, she may be wearing a small nose ring. She was wearing a gray sweater, sweatpants. She had a maroon top on that said with the Latino Youth uh, School logo on it. She, and she was driving a black Honda Civic and the plate 2002 and the plate number is AW27865. Marlene is nine months pregnant. She was due, she is due on the 5th of May. We don't know if she's already had the child or not. She's the mother of a three-year-old child. When she left Latino high, Youth High School, she left a normal day and she went to pick up her baby, a three-year-old son that was at the daycare center. She never arrived. So uh, that's when they called home and they said no one picked up the child and no one's heard from her since. Her phone continued to ring, her cell phone, but around 10 or 11 o'clock that night, now it just goes straight to voicemail. So we don't know what has happened to her, but if anyone has information, please call the victims, Special Victims Unit at 312-747-8274 uh, with any details, any sighting of her. We're asking everyone to use their social media, to use the pictures that we have here of her. Help us find Marlene and bring her home. Something had to have happened, but we don't know what, and we're praying. Today's National Day of Prayer. We all have Marlene in our prayers today, and we're hoping that there isn't anything bad that has happened to her. That yes, phone worked until school. about 11 p.m. that night. It was still ringing until 11. Maybe the, the energy of the phone went out, and then it went into voicemail, but the phone was ringing. Su ID siempre la cargaba, o sea... Tiene que saber algo de ella. Somebody needs to know something. We're asking, please give us the information. Ella cuando iba a la escuela, ¿dónde estacionaba? ¿En la calle o estacionaba en el parque? En la calle, siempre. She would always park uh, in, on the street near where she went to school. Ella no viajaba con amistades ni nada. A veces con sus amiguitas, pero nunca había pasado esto. Sometimes she would go maybe to eat with her friends, but nothing like this where she's just, just she's Incluso never disappeared. The, the school showed the, the, the uh, tape of the camera at, the, at Latino Youth. Her father was there to see them. Ahí se ve claramente que ella sale a las 3.06. And she got out of school exactly at 3.06. Camina and the, hacia la Cermac. And then she walks towards Cermac. Okay. Camina sola o camina con ella? Sola. Ella and she's sola. alone. Normal. She's, she's like using her cell phone and she's walking. So there's, she was calling somebody at 306 or, or, looking, or at least looking at her cell phone. Por favor, yo la última vez que texté con ella me dijo que estaba cansada. The last text I got from her on Tuesday after she left, she had texted that she was really tired. Me dijo que no podía, no podía manejar porque se sentía muy cansada. She said, I, didn't even, I can't drive anymore, I'm just so tired. Me dijo que iba a esperar hasta las 2.45 que saliera de la escuela para llegar a la casa, pero nunca llegó ni llegó por el niño al deque. She said that she couldn't wait for 2.45 so she could get out of school and go pick up her son and come home. Si por favor, alguna persona la tiene en contra de su voluntad, que la regrese. If you, someone has her against her will, please return her to us. Porque tiene mi bebé chiquito de 39 semanas, iba a nacer apenas mi bebé. My other baby son is, she's pregnant with, she's 39 weeks. She's ready to, she's due to have the baby. Ella era muy responsable para su casa y para su, para cuando recogía el niño. She's always been extremely responsible to pick up her, the baby, and she took care of the house. 
muy comunicativa era y esta vez no se comunicó. And she's always communicated with me and this day the communication stopped. La última vez que supimos de ella fue cuando salió de la escuela a las 3:40 a las 3 de la tarde. About 3 o'clock on Tuesday was the last communication I had with her. Sí, me texteó a las diez y media, digo, a las diez cuarenta. About ten forty in the morning she texted me. Que ella había soltado el tapón. That she, fe she felt that already uh, she was due because of the plug. When you're pregnant, she felt that that had already come down. Y yo le dije que si yo iba por ella a la escuela o no iba, y ella me dijo que no, que si iba a esperar. And she said that, um, no, he asked if, should I come get you now? If you're gonna, if you're in labor, and she said, "Not yet. I'll give you a call." Que por favor, si alguien la ve o algo, si la, porque muchas personas dicen que la han visto, pero los alegran y a la vez, este, me ponen más triste porque no sabemos nada de ella. And people have called and said that they've seen her, and then we get excited, and then we find out that it's, it's not true. Una muchacha con buenos principios. She's a, a, a young woman now who is responsible and uh, has principles. The family does not believe that she is uh, left by her own free will. She, they feel something, somebody has taken her. Was she working well? Ella estaba en escuela. Mm -hmm. escuela. She was just going to school. De su hogar a su escuela. Just every day it was school to okay. pick up the baby and then come home. The only thing I would like to say is if the press could help us in getting the detectives to look, uh, I mean, there's got to be a way that they can look at the cell phone and see if there was anybody calling her. We, we don't, we're not getting very much information. And of course, again, the car, the car is a 2002 Honda Civic, uh, black, and it's uh, plate number AW27865. And we're asking everybody to use their social media and to call the Special Victims Unit, 312-747-8274. And if, if you don't get an answer from the, the Special Victims Unit, you can call my church. We'll open up a hotline, 773-847-8272. So please, everyone, don't stop looking for her. There's a baby that's probably being born or has already been born. Something happened, and we need to find out what. And uh, we're going to go to the school after this to find out if there's any information that Latino youth can give us, because that's where she left. And from there, she was going to uh, pick up her son. Then where are the cameras, you know, like uh, around the, the, the daycare center or around the school? You know, what information can we get? You know, the detectives didn't show up today, so the family still doesn't know what's going on. We need them to, to get involved a little bit more in this, in this, in this investigation. Did she, go to school that day? Did she, she did go to school. We understand that it was a normal day for her, and she left. She texted her husband saying, I'm at school, I'm tired, but she felt like she was close to giving labor because what it's called is the mucus plug had already come down and she felt like it was going to be that day but the pains hadn't started so she had enough time to go pick up her son but she was feeling very very tired so we just don't know I mean between the school and the daycare center something happened. This boy was found on a cold and rainy day yesterday afternoon around four in this alley in the 1700 block of North Keystone. That's in the city's Hermosa neighborhood. A woman and her daughter heard the baby crying. It was wrapped in a blanket inside a shopping bag sitting on top of a garbage can. The woman rushed the child to a nearby fire station. By the time firefighters got involved, the newborn was ice cold, blue, not breathing. The baby's umbilical cord was still attached, but not clamped, which caused him to lose a lot of blood. The mother of the abandoned newborn is confirmed to be a 16-year-old girl, and we are hearing the father is also a juvenile. 
The newborn baby boy was discovered Tuesday afternoon in an alleyway of the Hermosa neighborhood. The baby had his umbilical cord still attached, and he was inside a shopping bag, which was placed on top of a garbage can. He was initially in critical condition, but he's said to be doing much better and now stabilized at Lurie Children's Hospital. Police began questioning the 16-year-old mother late yesterday, and she's described as emotionally traumatized. The baby's father is also being questioned. The young parents have apparently indicated a misinterpretation of the safe haven law, which Don Garris lobbied for 20 years ago. The law is pretty clear. You hand your baby over to someone at a hospital, police, or fire station. They didn't hand the baby over. They left the baby basically in a garbage can like trash. That's what happens when a baby is illegally abandoned. Carla Antimo initially hailed a hero for finding and turning in an unconscious newborn abandoned in an alley behind her Hermosa home, claiming she heard him crying. Now police calling that a lie. This incident could have been handled differently, especially when the uh, grandmother got involved because she's not a child, she's not a teenager. So she, at least she did have the wherewithal though to take the baby to uh, the firehouse. Auntie Mo, not a good Samaritan as she claimed, but instead she's the child's grandmother, allegedly covering for her 17 year old son, who is the father of the newborn. Um, there was a group page, I think it was called uh, Help a Sister Out, and a woman uh, who later was the one who called 911 that said that you know she had a baby. She was giving clothes away, uh, supposedly under the uh, pretenses that her daughters had, uh, had been giving clothes, and she, they had all these extra boy clothes, and that's where the false pretenses that I believe led her to, to that house. So was there a stroller? And that was the stroller exchange as well. So there was like a few things that she, I, they've been sending me all these group chats. Like I've been getting messages all night long. My phone actually went dead for a while. Um, so it was like a stroller that they were going to exchange and close that she was going to, you know, give, give to Marlene. And this was on Facebook? On Facebook. This was all on Facebook. And then we found out later that this woman even had a GoFundMe, which we're trying to shut that GoFundMe page down. Is there any other link between the Ochoas and this family, the four people that they're talking to? No, no. Uh, that was a new neighborhood altogether. I went there and knocking on doors, no relation, no, no. The only other, other than the Facebook, I guess that, you know, that conversation they had through uh, Facebook, the group, that was it. But not even the dad knew who that lady was, nothing. So there's no relationship whatsoever. Sources telling us that she was lured to the home thinking that she was buying clothing and supplies for her unborn child. But instead, sources telling us she was led downstairs into that home and gruesomely had her child cut from her. Tuesday, four people from the same home were detained. Sources say they are now being questioned in connection to Ochoa's death. Police were in that backyard for hours, continuing the investigation. It's the same home family says Ochoa was lured to. Just before 11 o'clock, it was a very emotional scene. Really just can't imagine the agony and grief that they are going through during this time, finding out what happened to their loved one. There were a lot of hugs outside of the medical examiner's office today, as well as a lot of tears. He was, when he was born, um, because of the way that he was brought out, uh, they consider him now brain dead. So he's pretty much, yeah, we're just praying to God and hoping that there's a miracle that happens. Okay, it's very difficult to pass on. 
This is her husband, Giovanni Lopez, telling Univision that it is so hurtful, so hurtful to see the person, your wife, who you lived with for four years, and now you see her with her eyes closed. Lopez went on to say, why did these bad people do this? She did nothing to them. She was a good person.